हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू ए आई की पाठशाला आई एम अनूप एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी लेमडा फंक्शन सो वी विल डू दिल हैंड्स ऑन कोड टू अंडरस्टैंड दी लेमडा फंक्शन एंड देयर आफ्टर इफ द टाइम परमिट्स विल डिस्कस समथिंग मोर एंड द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल स्टार्ट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट रिकर्जन सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल ऑफ यू टू रिवाइज कंप्लीट फंक्शन वट एवर वी हैव डिस्कस टिल नाउ so that you will not face difficulty in understanding the some advanced concepts so and those of you who are watching my recorded session on youtube or on any other platform you can go to the description section of the video and join my telegram ring don't forget to subscribe the channel to get updated with the latest video so that's all now i am going to share you my screen let me share you my screen first so here we go i suppose my screen is visible to you guys yes fine so let's open the notebook and uh, so i suppose in the last class we have discussed about uh, several built in functions so we will today we have already discussed the programming also so i request all of you to revise that lecture also so that you will not face any difficulty in the coming sessions jo first of all i am going to explain you a little bit about the lambda function thereafter we will start see till now whatever we have discussed in the function so lambda function is very different from whatever we have discussed in function actually lambda function has no correlation with the function that we are we have discussed till now so lambda fun function is also lambda function is also called anonymous have oblique lambda mvd lambda function both means the same either you call it anonymous or lambda function both is same what does the anonymous means we dot name this is the without name see in the function what what we have studied till whenever we want to uh, create any function we have to first start with this keyword def thereafter we write the fun name of the function thereafter we goes this way and we pass some maybe if required we pass some argument then semicolon thereafter comes the body of the function and all those then after we return something if you want to return and thereafter when we need we we when we require that function we need to call it this is how our normal this is the normal operation of the functions that we have discussed till now till but anonymous and lambda function doesn't go this way anonymous means we dot name that means this function lambda anonymous or lambda function is actually a one liner function you have to write this in a one line of code only and this doesn't have any name that is the main difference this normal function you can write it as many lines of code as you want but this lambda function you can write in a single line of code let's see how this happens today is uh, session 23 na uh today is 24 because the last session that we have conducted i have divided uh, the session into two parts that's okay, why, okay okay that's why it is showing you 24 okay because last session i have divided it into two parts okay
so let's discuss with the help of example we are going to i am going to explain you the lambda function first let's see syntax of this function goes like this text of this function goes like this we write lem l a m b d a lambda then we write argument argument there are arguments then thereafter we put colon and thereafter whatever expression we need to write we do we will we write that this is the syntax of the lambda this is a very simple syntax of the lambda function let's see this with the help of an example let's i am giving you one task let's uh double the number let's double the dou double the number by using lem da function when i write lambda it, that means it is a lambda function so how we can do this with the help of lambda function first of all this is a simple thing the very simple task what i am using if i will give you any number let's say if i will give you 10 then and if i put 10 inside the function it should give me 20 if i give 20 it should give me 40 like that it works like that so first what i will do first thing is that i should write lambda l a m b d a as soon as i write lambda let's see green it get converted into green color that means what it may it gets converted into green color it it signifies this is a built in thing inside a python right now write an expression let's the name uh, let's say the name of that expression is x and what you want i want if i give x to my uh, to the function what the function should give me function should give me let function should give me x multiply by 2 so this is my function and let's say now i am going to store the value inside one variable let's say the name of the variable is double d o u b l e fine now if you simply print double and supply this double with any value let's say put 10 because i want to double 10 and if you just run it i will get 20 this is very simple this is how the lambda function works so for what you have done first you have write you wrote an express you wrote lambda thereafter you put the expression x and what you want to do with the x you want to multiply x with 2 so you are multiplying x here by 2 and finally you are storing this entire lambda function inside one variable called double and here what you are doing you are calling that function uh, you are calling that variable and supplying this value whatever value you want to double let's say i i, I have supplied it with 10 and i want to print it i am getting here 20 if let's say i will supply here double with any other value let's say 50 i will get 100 so it is telling me it is incomplete why it is telling me it is incomplete and let's also check it here like that double and 50 and let's run it then it is giving me 
is it fine have you guys understood this so that i can move ahead to discuss further yes. few more questions because this is very simple this was very simple question fine now just just want to explain you this is just for your understanding now i have written this uh, simple question with the help of lambda function if let's say i have to write the same thing with the help of my normal function then how shall i write it so let's see this also def i will write def because this is how my normal function starts with the uh, with this in, uh, with this def keyword thereafter i write the name of the function so let's write the name as double let's put one here and supply this with one argument x colon and then what you want return x multiply 2 and then what you have to do you have to call this function call this function and supply double one with let's say 42 if you run this you will get 84 this is the normal way of creating a function and this is a lambda function way of creating the function is it fine now i am giving you a very simple problem you have to solve it and for this i am giving you let's say one two minutes max to max so this is a simple arithmetic arithmetic let's not give you because this is too simple to give you with lambda i will give you some more complex problem lambda so i am showing you how you can do a simple arithmetic calculation with the help of arithmetic calculation and matic calculation with the help of lambda let's see i want to add two numbers and i want to add that with the help of the lambda functions so any one of you can tell me how i can write here explain me i want to add two number let's say x comma y is my number and i want to add that number by using the lambda function so how i can do that okay see first what i shall do tell me ruchi first and foremost thing what i am supposed to write any one of you see I have told you here what first and foremost thing I will write. I will write lambda first. So, what I shall write here, Ruchi, now tell me. Are you guys listening me clearly or not? Yes, yes, first we lambda. have to write lambda. So then why don't you guys speak? I am asking you very simple thing. You have to answer. Then and only the class will be very interactive and you will uh, enjoy it. See, guys, one thing I would like to tell you. I never ever mm, judge anyone in the class. I never ever, ever laugh at anyone. If you even ask me the silliest of silly questions, I will going to explain you. Because I know all of you guys, whosoever is here, is successful. If you would not be successful, then it's then and all then also it is very okay for me. But I know all of you are successful in whatever thing you are doing. So I am just uh, not at your teacher. I am just kind of I I am serving you as your helping hand to boost you. So you can enjoy the class. Don't worry that I am here to judge you or uh, to test your knowledge, nothing. My only purpose is to deliver the things so that it get deeper, deeper, deeper into your consciousness. Is it fine? 
so not tell me if i have to write a simple uh, arithmetic uh, do a simple arithmetic operation of adding two numbers any two numbers let's say x comma y is my a number so what i have to, what i have to start with i have to first write lambda l a m b d a this is my starting point thereafter since i want to add two number let's say x comma y is my number thereafter what i shall do ruchi colon x plus y correct x plus y deal done see then after then you then you should put this in inside some variable let's uh -huh. put one variable let's add you are adding two numbers so put this inside a variable and then after that you have to print it so print, print add and you have to supply this with two variables uh -huh. parenthesis x sorry 8 comma 9 okay fine 8 comma 9 and if you simply run this you will get 7 so this is clear now let's do something more this is a little bit complex thing for you uh, not complex this is also very easy thing we already have discussed about the filter function in the last section in the last class we already have discussed about the filtering fu filter function so now i am going to use filter with lambda so let me give you first a scenario let's this is my number and uh, i am giving you a list of number 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 6 7 8 9 this is a number this is a list of number that I am giving you. And what I want, I want the even number from this list. I only want even number from this list. So if I will give you this question, you will very easily solve this with the help of the normal um, whatever study you have uh, studied till now. You can easily solve this question we have already solved this question but i want to solve this question with the help of i want to separate the even number from the list which i have given you so i want to solve this question with the help of lambda function and by using the filter both i have to use lambda and filter with the help of this i want to solve this question so let's see how I'm going to solve this question. So I want to separate even number. Let's put one variable. Uh, oh, so first not put variable. So first, what I want to do, tell me. Let's say for your understanding, I'm mm, telling you this. Can we represent the value inside this with any variable, let's say x? That means sometimes the value of x will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is it okay? Yeah. Fine. So now let's let me tell let me tell 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 me please. If first thing what I shall shall write here lambda l a m lambda. fine and what i want this is my let's say if if what i want to say that if anyone give me some value let's say that value is x what i want i have to check is that value even or not? Or not. Hmm. For checking, let 
I am I am giving you one value x. For, forget this thing right now. Just forget this line number. This thing. Just concentrate that first what I want. I want even number. So yeah. for getting the even number, what I will do? First, I will write x here. X. And I will check. This is my argument. I am supplying this lambda function with some value x. Hmm. Now, I, I want to check it whether this is an even or odd. So, first thing to check the even is that I shall divide this x with divided two. by 2, two. Mother, is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. So, zero. this is my case. If I supply hmm. any number, and if I uh, divide uh, this modulo, I will do modulo operation, not divide. Uh, I have to say modulo because this modulo should give me zero. Let me reminder zero. should be zero. If the reminder should be zero, then that number is even. Even number. Is it fine? So let's say in the normal uh, case, let's say here if this is let's for your understanding i am doing this not necessary if let's say y is something and b f g let's put one variable here and if i want to check some number so what i will do i will supply b f g with DFG. with some number, let's say seven. Seven. So if I do, I will get false. False means it is not even number. And if I it, it will give me true. True. And have you guys understood this? Now let's yes. forget. This is just for your understanding. Let's forget this. Now let's come here. So, I have given a case of lambda function. I have defined one lambda function that it should be, uh, reminder should be zero. Now, second thing that I have to give it, that let's giving this number, numbers, what I have defined. And thereafter, close it within a parenthesis i will ex going to explain you why i am doing this and apply filter here what this filter will do i am first i am using this lambda function this is my lambda function thereafter i am putting comma and i am using this numbers this what is inside this number inside this number there is a list of integer so here comes all the list of integers and i want to filter it what the filter function will do filter function will one by one take the value whatever value is inside the this number it will take that value one by one and it will check whether this is even or not whether that value passes this condition or not. We have already studied in the last uh, class. Hope you shall remember this. Fine? Yes. Fine. Thereafter, what I, I want, I want all those values in the form of list because, yeah. because I, have, I have told you that supply me, I have given you a list of values from 1 to 9. Or let's say one to anything or whatever value I will give you here. So I want that values in the form of list. So whatever value I will be getting. So see what this filter is doing actually. Filter is filtering out the values from the number. I have even and odd number present here. Is it fine? I have even and odd number is present inside my numbers but yes. when i apply this condition so this condition 
take sort all the even values. This is what filter function do, is doing here. Lambda function is doing their own work and the filter is filtering out the values according to this condition, according to the lambda condition, according to the lambda function, whatever fun condition of the lambda is, it is filtering out the values from this number according to the condition that is present inside this lambda. Are you getting this or not? Yes. So, it will filter out all the even number from this number, from this number. Thereafter, I want this in the form of list. So, I am enclosing this whole thing inside a list. Now, I want to put all this number inside some variable. So, let's put one variable, even number, even number. Let's put. And thereafter, what I want? I want to print it. Print even underscore number. If I simply run this, I will get all the even numbers 2468. Let's say if I change the condition here to odd number, let's say change the condition to odd number. This is called not equal to zero. So what I will get all the odd number if I simply change the condition. Let's see, I am getting the odd number. Simply changing the condition will giving me odd number. You understood this? How yes. this how this first how this lambda is working, thereafter how the filter is working, thereafter how this list. See here what we have we have jumbled together. And we are writing all these things inside a single line. You can see it. Is it fine now? So uh, you Mr. Uh, Mr. Sir. Have you understood this? Yes. yes, yes. Do you have any doubts? Any confusion? You can ask me. No, no, no. Fine. So, let's discuss one more function. This time, I am going to use map function. I have already, we have discussed the map in the previous class. So, now, I am giving you a map with Lambda. B L A M B D A Lambda. Let me give you one scenario. So let's take one num variable number is equal to let's put one comma two comma three comma four comma five. Let's put this one. scenario. Now, what I want to do? I want to square all the values inside this list. That means I want a square of 1 is 1, a square of 2 is 4. I want this value. 1, comma, 4, comma, 9, comma, 16, comma, 25. This is my output. This I want actually. This is my output. This is my input and this is my output. I want to square all the values present inside this list. But I want to do this question with the help of map and lambda. So that just now we have discussed, we have studied about filter with lambda. Now, I am going to discuss map with lambda. So, we have to do this with the help of map and lambda. Let's see how I shall do it. So, first and foremost thing that should, shall come in your mind is that, that we are discussing right now. So, this time others, tell me what I have to write. Others, 
Yes. What I have to write? So we have to write lambda. Correct. I have to start with lambda first. You are right, absolutely right. So let me write water get spilled on my. <laughs> so lambda, L A M B D A lambda. Thereafter, C. What I want to do? If let's say I am giving you one single number 2 and I want you to square it. So what condition you will write here? Others? Let's say I am giving you x. Thereafter, we have to define two x. And I want to square this. So I have to write the power of 2. x to the power Exactly. Fine. Right. Yeah. Fine. So this is my lambda function. This is all we have to write here. Now, let me write something more here. Comma, then let me write me numbers. Then put it inside a parenthesis. Put this inside a parenthesis. And now after that, let me write a map here. So, what map is doing actually? Now understand what map is doing. First thing, what the output that I want is the output that I want. I have written that code with the help of lambda function. Is this thing understandable by you? After that, I am I have written comma and this numbers. And inside the after before the parenthesis, I have written this map function. So now what this map function is doing, it is mapping all the values of number to this lambda function. It is mapping. This is one to one mapping. It is doing mapping. What actually is doing? Let me uh, explain you with the help of how. This number is what? This number is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, this map function is mapping the individual value to this lambda, to this function, to this lambda function. First, it is taking this one and squaring it and giving me one. Then, it is taking this two, squaring this and giving me four. Then, it is taking this three, squaring this and giving me nine. Then it is taking this 4, squaring this 16 and like that. It is mapping and this is all the values that is present inside this number. It is mapping that values with this lambda function. I suppose you got this. After that, what I have to do? Simply, I have to write... Uh, yes, I have to define any variable. Yeah. Define any variable. Square. S Q U A R E D. Square. Underscore value. Equal to map. And thereafter, I have to simply print it. Print. The list also. What? You need to write list also if you need to. Uh, or if you want outcome in the form of list. Okay, yes, yes, yes. If I want the out outcome in the form of list, then I have to write a list also here. So, uh, let's write list. List here. And a square, a skew, U -A -R -E, a square, underscore value. And if I simply, let's remove this. In if I simply run this, I will get 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. 
Is it fine? Yes. Are you understood this, others? Yes. Fine. Mr. Misra, sir? Yes, yes. Any confusion till here? No, no, no. Fine. So, let me write one more question. These are very simple. Called conditional lambda. Call conditional lambda. What this conditional lambda is? Let's say I will give you any number and you have to tell me whether this is even or not. So the conditional statement that normally we use, you are you must be aware of that. So let me write you, give you one. Uh, so let me, if I will give you any number, you have to say it is even or odd. I have to write a code for that. So how I will write? First and foremost thing, I will write lambda, LAM, LAMB, DA lambda. Thereafter, I will write, let's say some variable X, my argument. Thereafter, write even. If so, this the one peculiarity about this lambda function is whatever condition, whatever thing that you have to write, you have to write it in a single line. E even if x modulo 2 is equal to 0, else, odd. Do you understood this condition? Even if I supply, yes, yes? yes. If I supply this lambda with argument x, it shall give me even if x modulo two is equal to zero. Otherwise, it will give me else. It should it shall give me odd. Right. So let even underscore odd. Let put it inside this variable in even underscore odd. And let's print print even underscore odd. Tell me any value, Ruchi. Nine nine. Then uh, Ratius Risu Risu. Are you listening me, Risu? Okay, fine. So, uh, Mr. Bhagwan, please tell me one any value. Mr. Bhagwan? Yeah. Tell me any value. Right here. Seven. 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 Tell me some uh, even value because odd value is already there. So tell me some even value. Eight. Okay. Eight. Now, if I run this, I am getting first value was odd. So I am getting odd here. Second value is even. So I am getting even here. So by this lambda function, I can check whether a number is even or odd with the help of conditions. So we can write we can even write the condition inside a lambda function. Is this thing clear? Yes. Fine. Now, let me give you one, huh, okay, reduce. One is left. Already, I suppose this, I have discussed it in the last class, but let me discuss it here also. Example with reduce. Excellent. Daily example with reduce. R E D U C E. So reduce. L S T. Let's take 
um, uh, this uh, list one comma two comma three comma four comma five fine and uh, what i have to do let me clear you a scenario that uh, i i want to give you this number this list of number let uh, this is my list of number and i want that you should give me the multiplication of all these number product of all this number with the help of lambda and reduce form with the help of lambda and and you can use the reduce also so what i have to do first thing that i have to do in this question i have to import this because the reduce is by default not present in main core python i have to uh, import it from some li library i will be discussing later what this library and all those things is let first let me first from funk tools f u n c t w l s tools import import reduce reduce so first i have to write this then again tell me mr misra ji what i have to start with misra ji misra sir i have to start with lambda l a m b b a and what is my condition uh, my condition is if i will give you some number give me the multiplication of all those number so let's put one condition x comma y let's put some argument x comma y this is my argument let's take a i am supplying this lambda function with two argument x comma y and i want x multiplication y till here it is clear now after this write a comma and thereafter pass this list lst and enclose this inside a parenthesis and after that use this reduce now understand what this reduce is doing first see first we have studied this filter function then after we have studied this math function thereafter we are learning this reduce function see what this reduce is doing actually see we are applying the lambda function on the two given argument x comma y fine if we are supplying this uh, lambda function with two argument x comma y it will give me the output x into y fine but here i am supplying this with this list entire list and this entire list has so many values 1 2 3 4 5 values but here we are talking about only two values so if we use reduce function here reduce here what it it will do it will apply the same thing in the entire list whatever function we are writing here we are writing it for only two arguments but this reduce function is applying that to all the arguments present inside this list that is the function of the reduce function here and finally what i want i want to because this is a multiplication so i don't want to save it inside a list because so let's uh, write one uh, product underscore list uh, one uh, variable 
and finally what i want i want to print this thing print product underscore list lst if i simply run this code i will get 120 5 4 20 3 60 to the 120 so do you understand the difference between the uses of reduce filter and map these three are, are used in three different different scenarios and these three functions are very commonly used when you do the real life programming you will come across very often these three you uses of this reduce and uh, map and this filter all these things tell me guys is everything clear till here or not so that i can uh, move ahead or if you guys are having any doubt till here ruchi understood so when when i run this code i'm getting only one which code yeah, recently 13 line 13 have you written yeah. this thing from func yeah. import reduce yeah. i'm getting output only one will you please ping me your code in my chat okay, okay. please ping me your code in my chat so that i can see your code please ping me till then i am going to discuss something more here so let's discuss something more this is a what thing uh, there was a mistake in my side okay fine right now i'm getting one time. okay fine fine that's great so let me give you one more problem discuss with you one more question so that whenever in the future if you revise these questions you will get a thorough understanding of all those things so this is what i want to this sorting uh, a list of list of tuples tuples by a key by a key fine so let me first give you the list students list of pupil what i have written here list of pupils so this list is students and uh, write a tuple inside it so one tuple is let's say anup and comma let's give anup 95 marks then do this others here i'm writing adi and let's give adi 98 marks here then do this uh, bhagwan here and let's give him some 100 marks here i'm taking this three uh, tuples this is what this is called list of tuples all the three is tuples inside the list that's why it is uh, i'm calling it list of tuples fine now see what i want to do i want to sort this uh, sorting a list of tuple by key so i want to sort the tuple with the help of this key this is a key value pair present inside a tuple this is a key value pair present inside a tuple and i want to sort this with the help of key by key so what i have to do here first write 
students dot sort because we have to do a sorting here now what we have to sort put that sorting thing inside this condition you have if you simply press uh, shift tab uh, i am not able to do shift tab here okay not able to do shift tab fine So now inside this sort, let's put a condition lambda, L A M B D A lambda, and this time I am applying this lambda on students, and what I want the output is students. This thing mm, one. And let's give it a name G is equal to this. Save this uh, inside a, uh, this variable key. And thereafter, what uh, print students? If you want to print students. students. Let's first print it, then I will going to explain you. Okay, students, 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 okay. Students should come here. So let's run this. Let's put something a, a, a should come now let's put something instead of this b let's put e e here instead of this puts f here and c here let's put c here let's keep it now let's run it okay so let's put something else here. Let's put a l i c l i c here. Let's put Bob here. Let's put e p. Now let's run it. Otherwise, Bob e fine. So what it is doing? Let's understand this first. I have taken one uh, variable students and inside this student, I have given three tuples and the tuple value is inside this tuple. I have uh, given two uh, two things. Let's say this is allies and this is, this is something associated with allies. Let's say it's a marks associated with the allies. This is Bob and Marks is uh, Associated with Bob, Eve and Marks associated with the Eve. Now, what I am doing here, lambda, I am applying this lambda to students. So, this lambda is applicable to the all the, uh, the list of tuples here. And what I want as an output, I want as an output this one. The students, thereafter this one. What this one will give me? And students dot sort. If you uh, if you simply do this, if you simply uh, do anything, if you let's say write let's say c f g. Let's take one variable and let's write twenty three comma sixty five comma eighty seven comma fifty five comma three comma two. And if you simply write cfg dot sort, and if no, no, let's first run this, and then if you put cfg dot sort, sort present here, sort. So what you will get, and if you want to print it, print.
Nan, oke. 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 Understood. What's went wrong? Sorting the list of tuples by key. Do you guys, I am pinging you this code inside your chat. You just copy this code and uh, run this code on at your end and Explain me how this is working. Ruchi, do you able to understand this thing? How this is working? Yeah. Please explain me how this is working. We have already discussed this sorted thing before in the uh, last section in the previous few classes before previous few classes we have already discussed this sorted thing so how this is working can you please explain me student dot sort in this sorting process we are in isolating the key and the string both the things separately we are yeah this is a key thing let's say and this is value but i want to sort it with the help of key only with the help of uh, that's why students this this thing we are uh, sorting this with the help of key only uh, yes. That's, yes so this is sorting like allies Bob, Bob and Eve. And Eve. Because Elias is coming first, A is coming first, then B is e coming, Bob then E is coming. E coming. And it's arranging according to according to alphabetical order. Yes, 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 yes. And let's put the same thing here, and let's change these things a little bit. Let's put some thing like B. Then put A and then put C. And if you just run it, what you will get? And if you yeah. simply run this thing, then what you will get? A, C, and D. A, C, D. Yeah. Because I am changing this thing here. Mm okay yeah and then let's say then if you if you, if you put two here you what you what you will get let's see if you put two here what you will get you will get an error, error. why why you are getting an error because the because c is pull index out of range it is telling uh, out of range fine zero one so if you if i put zero here so what it it is doing if I put zero here, it is uh, sorting it with the help of, uh, it is sorting it by using the key thing, zero to zero. key thing, this, this value, by using the uh, key value, key thing. But if I use this, uh, like one here, it is sorting by value. Are you getting? Since yes, yes, let's yes, change yes. the value here. Let's change the value here. Let's change value something like 200. Then say 500, 600. Uh, not 650. And let's put it here like 25. And if I put uh, this thing. See how it is sorting, it is sorting with the help of values. 
twenty five is first coming, then fifty is coming, then two hundred is coming. And if I simply put zero here, it will sort by the key. Sort by key. Key. Now it is sorting by key. Yeah. Otherwise, it is sorting by you. So what I uh, uh, what I want. See here, sorting a list of people by key. key. That's why zero. what I have to put, I have to put zero here. Zero. If I want to sort it by value, then I have to put one. And if one. you put anything else, you will get an error because there is only two values, key and value. Out of yes. range. Okay. Is this thing understandable by all of you? Have you understood, yes. Mr. Misra sir? Mr. Misra, sir, sell yes, sir. So let's let's understand one more question here, and this will be the last question of the day, I suppose. And uh, thereafter, we will be finished with this uh, lambda session. Let me give you a dictionary. Sorting thing by values. Fine. So let's write one dictionary. I am writing what dictionary. Let's grades is equal to. Um, let's put the name. Anup, Anup, and then let's put grade is equal to ninety. Then put uh, some, something else. P H A G Bhagavan grade is equal to let's say key value pair. Let's put ninety five, and then put Ruchi. Are you are you C H I Let's put something like 67. Now, let me write you first uh, what I want. Dictionary sorting by values. So, I want to sort this dictionary. This is my dictionary. This is the name of the dictionary, grades. I want to sort this dictionary by values. That means by this thing, 90, 95, 67. Let's change this by, let's say, uh, 99. That would be better. Sort this dictionary by values. So let me write something for you. Whatever I have written till here, I have to write the same code here. Lam L A M B D A lambda. Then after that, I have to write, let's say item. Then I have to write item one. Why I want I am because I want to sort it by values. To key first comes key, then comes value, and there. And there is one parameter called reverse. So first I will take that parameter later. So let's put it inside one variable called key. And thereafter, put this uh, grades dot sorted grades dot items comma key and let's put this inside a parenthesis and then I will explain you sorted then put the ICT, sorry, of then 
erased all those things. I have to write it again. So lambda item uh, item one and uh, thereafter put it inside a key. Key is equal to this. You can also type along with me. Please don't sit ideal. As I am typing, you should also type there. So that we both of us will run our program at the same time. Key. And uh, thereafter put this grades dot items. Items. And put all these things inside a parenthesis and uh, then do sorted and then all those things is again inside a parenthesis and then put on ticked and if you so all the sorted underscore grades is equal to this thing and print print sorted underscore grades and if I simply run this I am getting this thing and if I simply change this thing as reverse is equal to true what will happen so let's understand this let me explain you what is happening here one by one see what is the first thing that I have done here? I have written this line of code. Let's understand one by one. Now, first thing that I have done is I have taken one dictionary. This is the variable dictionary. And I have put three key very value pairs inside this dictionary. After that, I am writing this lambda function. What I have to do? I have to sort this dictionary by values. Values means by this thing. That means if I sort it, this will come first. Then this value should come. Then this value should come. Ideally, this value should come first. 67 should come first. Then 95 will come. Then 99 will come. I want to sort it by value. So, Lambda item and uh, this is a uh, um, this is my argument item and I want to sort that thing with the help of uh, this value. So I put I have uh, written one here inside this uh, square bracket and put all these things inside one variable called key. Okay this thing and I put this entire thing inside this variable called key. So till here, have you understood till here? Sure. Now after that what I am doing here, this grades dot items, I am doing this grades dot items. Simply if you do grades dot items, Let's see what you are getting. If you if you are doing this grades dot items, you you are getting this key value pair that I have written inside this dictionary. I will get that key value pair. Will you understand this grades dot item? If I am doing this grades dot item simply, I am getting this key value pair inside the inside a dictionary. In the form of a tuple, I am getting this key value pair. Guys, are you guys there or not? Or you have gone for a deep sleep, in a deep sleep? 
no no i'm here okay are you guys understanding or not yeah 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 i yeah, understand okay fine ruchi you yes mr misra sir yes yes fine see so grades dot item what i am doing grades dot item this is giving me simply the list of uh in the form of tuples list of tuples in in the in the tuple first thing is the key and the second thing is the value key value pair i am getting inside this tuple so this grades dot items is giving me this thing understand this thing comma what i am writing here key is equal to lambda item comma items dot this thereafter i am applying this sorted this what this will do this will sort the values this will what this sorted will do whatever let's first uh, do this till here uh, let's take this thing here like this and put it here grades dot items by doing this i will get this thing and now if i will get this thing if you can replace this simply with this simply with this both is same if i replace simply with this uh, okay i have to put dictionary uh, i have to write this thing here okay now it is fine if you simply do this yes so you have to put this thing also here yeah now it's fine and it's in text tick 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 key lmb item items one okay is equal to okay fine let me write this in this way simply grade sort items so you will get this thing so instead of this grade dot items if you replace it with this thing both are same and now you are putting comma and inside this key you are putting this lambda function in which the item you are uh, in the item you are uh, passing this one as a value and now you are going to sort these things you are going to sort all those things so if you are putting this sorted here before this entire things so what you are getting you are getting this sorted values that to in the form of this thing and i want to convert that sorted value uh, to dictionary so i am using this dictionary there is one more thing you have to put this thing also here one parameter is there called reverse if you you have to put this reverse as true if you put this reverse as true what will happen reverse v e r s a okay if you put this reverse as true 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 okay 99 if you put this reverse as true or if you put this thing as zero it will work like that fine see what i am trying to explain you here that if you if you select zero that means if you want to sort it by the key so you have to put zero here and if you 
are putting zero here it means that you are select you you want you want to sort the value by key value but if you are supplying this parameter as true that reverse is equal to true that means it will going to reverse it and sort it by values if you simply leave this parameter it will not impact it it will not impact any anything but if you simply put this parameter reverse is equal to true that means you are going to reverse thing now you are not going to uh, now you are not going to uh, sort it by key you are going to sort it by value it means that if you want to by default this reverse is always false by default this reverse is always false if you see this see i am doing this uh, shift tab and wants to see see sorted iterable this key is equal to none this reverse is by default false returns a new list containing all items from the iterable in ascending order so by default this reverse is always true always false but if you put zero here and put reverse is equal to true then it will sort it by value not it will sort it by the keys and if you put one here and if you put reverse is equal to true then again it will do the opposite way so i want to sort it by key so let's put it zero here and let's if you sort it by values you have to put one here hope this is clear to you yes. so what i want all of you so you can do just one thing you can simply go through this sheet and this lecture if you find anything uh, that you have not understood because the last couple of questions that i have discussed is a little bit tricky and it's a little bit complicated that's why i have kept it in at the end and uh, i suppose these things you must have understood but last couple of questions if you will face any difficulty in understanding first let's see it by yourself try to understand and if you again will not able to if you again will not be able to understood understand then we can again take this question maybe in some session whenever you want so this is how for today i am going to upload this video tomorrow morning so that it will be available for you as soon as possible so i suppose we have we are going to end this session today so let's wait for one minutes i am going to end this session those of you who are watching my recorded session and want to join my live class you can uh, go to the description section of the video and join my telegram group link and don't forget to subscribe this channel guys come learn and build a community of intellectual people together so i am stopping sharing here and uh, let me